right, so it is the 8th of July and uh, we're in Kettlewell and we're heading up Great Wern side, which I think is there for a camp. Uh, it's uh, not a bad day, a bit of cloud, but uh, from about midnight it's rain and by the time we're heading back to the car on it's going to be torrential, so that'll be fun. But it's only about an hour back to the car. Uh, I've got 13 kilometres to do today. And we've got a bit of a crowd with us today. So yeah, we're gonna uh, head off uh, this direction and uh, look forward to a good camp. So, we're on the top now, Great Wayne side. Uh, we've done nine miles, and uh, yeah, the last sort of two has been a bit of a bog fest. So, I would like to be here when it's raining at all. So, we're about half a k from the trip point, and uh, that's roughly where we're going to pitch. So, maybe another 10 15 minutes. Happy days. Well, here we are. Great Wernside Summit and the Trig Point. So nine and a half miles. We average about two mile an hour, which is uh, not too bad considering some of the paths we've had have been a bit, a bit on the boggy side. But yeah, we're up now. So we're going to look for a nice, uh, a nice spot to pitch. So we are all pitched up on Great Wernside. Uh, it's a little bit later than uh, I would have liked. It's half past seven. I would have preferred to have been pitched up maybe an hour earlier, but uh, yeah, we're pitched up now, which is good. So I'll take you through uh, shelters. Uh, this is Rich's, it's the uh, Locust Gear Kofu, and he's actually got his MLD uh, Joe Mid double inner in there, and it fits really nicely. So the Kofu is roughly the dimensions of the Joe Mid, uh, it's just shorter. Which is at around 125, and I think the uh, Joe Mid's at around 148. So he's uh, got an airframe mod, which uh, gives you a lot more room because the poles are actually on the outside, as you can see. So, yeah, that looks good. And I've got to my next. I'm in my uh, MLD Solar Mid XL in uh, obviously in DCF. So yes, probably one of my favourite shelters. It's a uh, small footprint, very wind resistant. And uh, as now I pitch with the airframe, I get a decent amount of room, as you can see. It's uh, quite roomy in there. Um, the problem I always found with mids is the centre pole, it tends to get in the way. So if you can pitch it with the airframe, then uh, happy days, plenty of room. Uh, there's John's, you can see uh, Cpax duplex, a lovely camo colour. So very nice tent. Uh, 
around six and a half hundred grams and you get bags of room. Um, but if you start getting uh, winds over around 30 miles an hour, it, uh, it does affect it quite a lot, it flaps around. So that's why I prefer the mid. And right over there is uh, Dan's Seek Outside Aeolus. Send me a few minutes to walk over here somewhere. Right, so it looks like a, a similar shape to the duplex. It's uh, basically an A frame, two pole pitch, and uh, the door configuration is a, a little strange. It's on a, on a cord, it doesn't split. Well, yeah, there is that. Quite nice. So yeah, you've got a decent amount of room in there. You sleep too that way, like. Is that the uh, is that the solo nest? Yes. Actually, so while I'm on the way back, I'll, uh, I'll take you to the edge so we can have a look at the uh, look at the views. Well, there looks to be the camp kitchen. views. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, got a bit of camp kitchen going. Uh, Dan's, uh, Dan's meal cost him 14 quid because it's one of those expensive camping meals. Well, I'm worth it. I've got, I've got a rat pack, which was about a quid. John's got a proper camping meal because he's joined in with a, the, the, the rich and famous. He's definitely, yeah, he's definitely a proper, yeah, camper. Not uh, a walker, a camper. And Rich has got a, a pot noodle. Pot noodle, curry pot noodle. Curry pot noodle. So I've got pasta and meatballs wrapped back. If it's good enough for the army, it's good enough for me. <laughs> so, yep, not a bad view while we sit and uh, have our scran. So, uh, just gone quarter past six in the morning, and as you can see, it is very nice out there. Uh, set my alarm for quarter past four, but uh, when I looked how I thought, no, I'm going to uh, have a little bit of a laying and uh, get up when I feel like it, so... Woke up about 10 minutes ago and uh, we're going to start getting packed up and uh, just get off because it's, uh, yeah. Well, it looks like we've got a temperature inversion. If this clag would clear a little bit more, we'd be able to see it really clearly.